Man, I hope y'all boys can hear me loud and clear, and I'm not doing this for no reason. Welcome back to another video. Hopefully this one isn't killing the sound right now. Um, in today's video, I wanna give you guys five things that I love about being turbo. And uh, it should be a quick and simple video. I'm not gonna try to make it eight minutes long, 10 minutes long. This should just be simple and easy. So I know, the, <clears throat> so I know a lot of you guys out there watch my videos and uh, you guys wanna know if I had any problems being turbo or if you guys should go turbo. And I'm gonna tell you guys now, Turbo ain't for the weak, bro. Stuff will break, stuff will wear out faster. Um, I had none of that issue by, by, besides my mortar mount taking a crap on me. And that was because of, uh, I guess, just the design of the mortar mount. But uh, now I have a Hasport mount, so I have no issues now. But yeah, that was the only issue I had. Um, the transmission is built. If you guys know, knife gens transmissions are very weak. So usually around like 350 torque or around 400 horsepower is when they start to give out. And it's usually third or fourth. Um, to eliminate that, you build it obviously. And that's what I got done to my transmission. I have a uh, third and fourth from BF Gears. Shout out to them. Uh, the car makes, the last time I had it on the dyno at 11 PSI, it made 433. And it sees 15 PSI a lot of the time. So you guys could kind of see where that's at. <laughs> It should be around 500 so hopefully it should be like 480 so uh yeah man the car has been lovely been reliable i do want to drop the trans again and swap out the clutch or swap out the the throttle bearing because it is making a funky little noise man but uh yeah everything's been sweet so number one the reason why i love being turbo is because of the turbo noises um if you guys don't know these cars make some nice turbo noises Especially with the turbo sitting right behind the motor, you hear it spool up, you hear everything. So it, it car sounds really, really damn good. Number two, um, I'm gonna say it's just how it looks, their appearance. From stock knife gen base to turbo knife gen base, you can see the difference. Like you could tell this car has something done to it. It just looks modified, it looks nice, it looks aggressive. And that's another reason why I like being turbo. Uh, obviously the power is number three. This car puts down the power and it makes a, a good like a good enough power to beat a lot of vehicles that you see in the street. I'm not gonna say it's gonna beat tw twin turbo Lamborghinis and Mustangs and stuff like that, but it will give some work to some Camaros and full bolt on Mustangs and stuff like that. Somebody's doing a mean pull on the highway. But yeah, it, it definitely gives the work to the V8s and any other vehicle that's not crazy modified, obviously. Um, number four, I'm going to say how reliable it is. I have no issues with being turboed. Um, I've been turbo for almost, actually over a year now. It's been over a year since I've been turboed. And I put about, I guess you could say over 10,000 miles on the kit. And uh, by the way, this is the max speed kit. Shout out to the max speed. I put 10,000 miles on this kit. And uh, no issues. Car performs. It drives. It takes me to work. It takes me home. It takes me out. It takes me to places that I need to go. With no issues. And... The power is always there, which is what I love. So, yeah, I had no issues with it being reliable. It's been perfect since day one of me turboing it. Um, if you guys haven't seen that video of me announcing that I want turbo, go check it out. I'll put the link right here. But, uh, yeah, man, it's been sweet. Um, I do need to upgrade some tires because these tires, I believe, is the reason why I'm hearing some shaky noises. I believe uh, that side is wearing out slower than this side. So I do hear the road a lot more than usual. So it makes me think it's transmission related, but it's not. So I need to swap all these tires. Um, number five, what can I say for number five? Cost effective. It is cheaper to go turbo than it is to go supercharger, believe it or not. Um, superchar supercharger kits are roughly, I think, $6,000 to $7,000, while you get a turbo kit now in this generation for uh, $4,000 to $5,000. used to be $3,000 to $4,000, but then, you know, inflation happened and everything just shot up. So, sadly, that's, uh, that's the thing now. 
But yeah, it's cheaper to go turbo than it is to go supercharger. And I know, I know a lot of people are going to debate that uh, supercharger is re more reliable than the turbocharge. But honestly, I don't think so. Because if you think about it, a supercharger is always in boost no matter what RPM you're in. A turbo application, on the other hand, is you're, on, you're only in boost when you hit that, that target mark that your wastegate opens up. So most of the time, the car is all motor because I barely hit boost in this car. Until, you know, something pulls up on the side of me and I got to let that boy know what I'm working with. You feel me? But most of the time, cars never in boost. So, yeah, man, like I said, I wasn't going to make this video extra long. I just wanted to make it short and simple for the people out there that just wants to know if they should go turbo or not. And wants to know my five reasons why I want turbo. But, yeah, like I said, man, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more content on Dusty, the SI, uh, let me know down below if you guys enjoy these videos or this type of video, short and simple, let me know down below. I can make five reasons why I hate being turbo. And uh, yeah, that, that's going, that one's gonna be hard because I actually love being turbo like a lot. So yeah, man, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow your boy on Instagram at underscore got the soda. If you guys wanna go ahead to my merch site, www.zubigarage.com. I do have roller anti-lag switches. I put some clips up of people using them, bro. Bro, if you got a turbo Honda or a turbo, just a turbo 9th gen or 8th gen or RSX and you don't got a roller anti lag switch, you're sleeping on it, bro. That game changer. But yeah, man, your boy's out. Peace. Dang, you guys are far. Yeah.